this week's video, we are gonna show you just in time for scallop season on how to safely navigate the Homosassa or Halls River out to the scallop grounds. Now this river is notorious for being one of the most difficult river runs to run, especially for inexperienced boaters, just because there's about a dozen hairpin turns, the channel gets very tight, and there will be over a thousand boats here running this very same river with you to add to all the chaos. So taking your time to learn these waters, to learn the channel, and just ease your way out is gonna make sure that you're gonna be able to enjoy your time. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I go out the channel and give you guys some pointers along the way and I'm gonna show you some areas to watch out for so that way you can have a safe, fun boating day out here in Homosassa taking your family scalloping. Now we're coming up on a sign right here that's gonna allow us to go 25 miles an hour and uh, we're gonna be able to run this for a good little ways. And the important thing is here, guys, is you wanna make sure you keep right, green on your right and red on your left on heading out of the river. So as you can see, there's a, a red marker coming up right here. I'm gonna keep the green to my right and I'm gonna keep this red to my left. And that's how you wanna run this channel all the way out. So here we go, we're getting on plane. We are about to be to the scalloping grounds, about 20 minutes. Now, uh, in a minute, we're gonna go over the best way to be able to get in the water and catch these. And uh, so if you're new, make sure you stick around because I'm gonna show you some professional tactics on how to hunt down the delicious treats from the sea called bay scallops. on that boat. Briefly, I went over how to get out of the river with you guys safely and then I showed you guys the gear that you need to use to actually go scalloping. But now I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth and show you guys kind of like my mythology to go and catch scallops, which is like, you can do whatever you want. You can go out there and you can just go out towards the boats, but I've been doing this my whole life. And pretty much what I do is I go out there, we go in like three or four foot and I have like some, I have some like historical spots that we go to. So we started out there and we were in like three to four foot of water as the tide started moving. I really prefer to go out there when the tide start, just starts moving or when it's switching. And uh, I think that the, the scalps are feeding a little bit more so they open up and they're easier to see. But So what I do once I, once I got my, uh, my, my goggles and my fins and my snorkel on and my bag, I'll hop in the water and I'll just swim around and I'll actually work very methodically. But what I mean by that, is I will actually work like a, a grid line. So instead of just like swimming around like randomly, like everyone that is around me right now did all day today, is I actually like will make a box 
and I will like swim in left, right, up, down, up in that same box until I think I've caught all the scallops in that area and then I'll move to a new quadrant. So if you could just imagine making little quadrants in your area around your boat and then if you do that and you do it very methodically, you'll actually catch more scallops and you'll see more scallops. So that's a little pro tip right there and that's why I got so many of these in a very short amount of time. And scalloping is pretty good this year from what I've seen so far. I've been running trips. I got trips coming the next few days, but we're about to head in. All right, so now we're at the point where all these scallops are getting ready to die. So we're gonna throw them on ice and that's a pro tip right there. You wanna make sure before you wanna go shuck them that you throw them on ice. And what it actually does is it opens the muscle up to where you'll be able to shuck them really easy. So all we're gonna do is literally Take them, we're gonna dump all of them on ice. Just like this. And then we're gonna mix them into this ice. And then when you get to the spring, uh, you'll see that instead of these shells being closed, they'll be opened up a little bit. And then we can just take our shucker and we'll be able to clean them out real easily. And these things will be ready to eat. We're gonna head home, have a really good dinner. Lisa Marie's pretty good at blowing, guys, as you can tell. All right, so as you can see, the ice opened up this uh, scallop, and you're gonna take your uh, scallop shucker, and you're gonna run it down the edge of the one side of the shell, which will then allow it to open up in half, just like this. And then all of the guts and the eyes, you're gonna scrape off of the meat, just like this. You're just gonna run your, your blade of the shucker right down the edge of the meat, and then pull it off with your hand. And you're gonna be left with just the guts in one hand, and the scallop meat in the other. And then you're just gonna run your shucker over the meat just like that. And that's what you're left with. And it's delicious, you can eat it. You can actually eat it raw. Mm. It's actually really good to eat. So we're gonna get the rest of these done just like that. And then we're gonna take it home and we're gonna show you guys what we're gonna make out of it. We haven't quite decided if we're gonna fry them up, cook them in, uh, how we're gonna cook them yet but we'll let you know here shortly. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, showing you guys the finished product. Just do the steaks on the grills, guys. And we are about to start cooking this. Uh, we're going to make some fettuccine Alfredo scallops. So I'm about to throw the fettuccine into the uh, pot of boiling water, which is not boiling at all. But we're going to get it right. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the fireworks. It is the 4th of July, so we're a little bit of America right now. But we're going to put this in here. I'm going to make every Italian person ever made really mad by breaking these in half. But that's how I roll. So we're gonna put these in here. I got a little bit of salt, a little bit of butter. We're gonna let them boil. Then we're gonna put these uh, scallops into this pan right here. We're gonna put the rest of these scallops that I got done shucking into the pan with some butter and some salt. And we're gonna cook them. We're gonna mix it all together uh, with some Alfredo sauce once it's all done. And we're gonna have a delicious meal for everybody and also we're gonna cook steak. So we're having a little surf and turf uh, Italiano tonight. So, wish you guys could be here, but since you can't, you're just gonna have to watch it. So we, we got the Alfredo mixing with the scallop. We're gonna cook this up. We got the steaks on the grill. We got the noodles boiling. Uh, I think we're about to have a pretty delicious meal here pretty soon. Everybody's pretty excited. When's the last time you had some fresh scallops, bro? Uh, you don't even know? No. Do you, do you no, like scallops? Um, I don't know. Do you like hot dogs or steaks? Hot dogs? Steak? Steak. 
Steak, steak is the right steak, answer. Steak, yeah, steak, get this kid on his steak, steak hype. Steak, go, go. Steak, 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 steak. <laughs> But at least you'll be famous. Tens of people will watch you. All right, everything's finally done. We're gonna have a big piece of steak. We're gonna have some scallops. <laughs> We're gonna have some fettuccine Alfredo scallops. I haven't had noodles since last September, guys, so I'm definitely cheating on my keto diet. Hurry up and get out of here. For all you guys. And then uh, I think I'm gonna go with some baked beans because that seems to go well with everything we're doing tonight. So we're gonna go with a little baked beans. And then that's how you do uh, July 4th in Homo Sass, scallops you caught fresh, ribeye from a cow you didn't kill.